Well, welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. This is the Okanagan Forest in August. And the first thing I want to do is say hello to my friends out there that uh, have not heard from me for a long time. I'm uh, hopefully going to be doing more videos in the near future. But today I just want to say hello and show you a little bit of of the Okanagan Forest in August. Of course, this year, 2015, has been an incredibly dry uh, season. There's been forest fires all over the place, but here in the Okanagan Highlands, things are still looking up and doing very well. Let me say hello for a minute, and then I'm going to walk over and uh, share a few things with you. Again, I'm still using my same old camera, so bear with me. Um, it's, it's not a very fancy camera, but I just want to say hello so you can, you can see that I'm doing well. It's good to see you. Um, if you, if, if you have comments, I'd love to hear from you. Now, let's, let's walk slowly over to, uh, my shipping container reefer cabin and have a look around. I also want to show you my bug out trailer, so to speak. And we'll talk more about, about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and pan over back towards the mountain. Unfortunately, it's overcast today. For a, per, for a slightly better look at the forest, it would have been good if it was a beautiful sunny day, but it's overcast. Now, we'll kind of look over towards my, uh, my special hideout. And I'm going to walk over there with you. We'll go kind of slow. And as, as we're walking, I want to give you a little local news, which uh, I find very interesting. In the last two days, here, uh, from two different neighbors, I have gotten news of some of the wildlife that are immediately in the area. One neighbor, uh, two days ago, walked just outside his cabin and there was a big old bobcat looking at him and trying to hide and slink away but not before he uh, didn't have a chance to get a good look and then the other the other interesting bit of news in the valley here is that another neighbor within walking distance of here not far away at all was uh, sitting in his cabin looking out the window and who should come along but a big old mountain lion cougar. He said he was really a big one and uh, looked in the window at him for a while and paused for a bit and then moseyed off and so he quickly called people around told them that there's a big cougar in the in the valley and you know act accordingly. Well you can see in the distance there um, on the far left uh, the outhouse and uh, my reefer container cabin home and then you can see my, my Jeep with uh, my bug out trailer attached. And that's been in earlier videos, always under a tarp, but I wanted to show it to you this, today. So let's take a, a quick walk over there and have a look. And then, and again, there's the there's the outhouse. And again, if uh, this, is, this is certainly different than in some of the other videos when there's a lot of snow here. But um, it's a beautiful time up here right now. And this is, I guess, August. Probably my least favorite month up here. Why? Because it's kind of hot during the day, usually. And uh, you can't have fires because there's a terrible fire danger. And uh, so you can't, you can't do the outdoor stuff quite the way that you might uh, at some other time. Might I add from it, down in the valley down below it's uh, it's even hotter. Now this this is a, a 98 Jeep ra uh, Wrangler and uh, I bought it new, had it since 98 and uh, you know I've looked at some new ones and maybe it's just me but I just don't think it's any better than uh, the new ones aren't any better than what I have. In fact, I prefer what I've got. I'd like you to take a look for a minute at this trailer. 
you might notice that those wheels are the same wheels that are on the Jeep. And I specifically designed that. And the reason is so that I've got double, double spares now. See, you've got a spare on the Jeep, and you've also got a spare on the trailer. And uh, the old tires from the Jeep work good on the trailer. The other thing that's interesting to note here is that this is a flatbed, so that you can put all kinds of things on it. Um, these sideboards come off. Whoa, we got by a bush there. The sideboards come off, and uh, you can have a just a flatbed if that's what works best to haul a four-wheeler or something. The other thing that I would point out, and you might be able to see it now as, as we look at things here, is um, it tracks perfectly uh, behind the, uh, the Jeep. Why? Because I made a four foot wide by ten foot long trailer with the axle and the wheels tracking right in the same tracks as the Jeep. And that has really worked well. I have a 17 foot square Stern Grumman that you can see in I think another video where I was trying to sell it. Never did. Glad I didn't. And um, I can put that on, on this trailer and head for northern Manitoba and there's just no problem whatsoever. So anyway, let's take a quick look around here. You've seen, uh, certainly you've seen this environment at other times of, of the year, but maybe not in August. And uh, when I'm up here by myself, I just put up the small flag so I, I don't put up the big flag. And it, it's just, it's still as beautiful as ever up here. And I think what I'd like to do now is just walk in. Um, to the container cabin and let you take a quick look there and, and then we'll go on from that. I redesigned it. In fact, every time I come up I, I redesign things a little bit and that's the kitchen. You've got the, the water and the cooking area on one side and then as we go in here we'll let the light get adjusted a little bit and then we have that's the, the countertop for, for uh, pre preparation. Of course, no, no fires so the stove's not on, but that doesn't mean you can't have a few candles. And that's really what I like to do. Um, it gives it a kind of a warm effect. And since it's only right now about 65 degrees, the candles aren't a problem. It doesn't create too much heat. It's, and here you can see uh, utensils. And let me just also pan the bookshelf that you have seen in other videos. I have cut down the number of books but tried to keep something so that when it, someone would come up they would uh, have a chance to to read something if they so wanted. I should also point out I have a couple of new posters from my good friend Steve. Here's one on important bear safety tips with a great deal of detail on, on uh, how to live and work and hike and camp in bear country and of course there are a lot of bear around here. And then there's another one here that I really like too. This may be getting a little bit dark but it's identifying wolves in the wild. I've had uh, wolf sightings on my property here so it's kind of neat to have that up and help a person distinguish between a coyote and an actual wolf. And then here is the desk area that looks about as it, it has always looked. Um, again, candles. You can see my shortwave radio there um, in the little cubby. And uh, with a wire outside of the uh, reefer container cabin, I put that up in the tree and I can get news from just about anywhere I want to go. And then finally, here's the, if you will, the bedroom. And again, I'm up here by myself, so um, I keep it pretty simple. Now, you look up here, I have propane lanterns. I could have turned that on, but they make such a racket. They really do. And I have to tell you, I'm, I'm really quite impressed with this new um, lantern that I have. I'm going to turn it up, turn it off, and then turn it up all the way bright. It really, uh, it really seems to work pretty well and give off quite a bit of good light. You can see uh, my daughter's dolls on my bed there. Since I'm by myself, her dolls are here to, to keep me company. So I'm going to turn around now.